My brain is a miraculous instrument. It contains the information I use to protect my money. Five thousand dollars. I'll put it up, but I won't give it up without a fight. But if you're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough, you can win Ben Stein's money. season of win Ben Stein's money. As always, I'm putting $5,000 of my money. Once again, you're going to see bloodsuckers who can't take it all away from it if they dare. But the more things stay the same, the more they change. Nancy Pimentel has gone off to wild success as a screenwriter, and so I, once again, need to find a new co-host. And who better to help us find a replacement than my old friend and true love, Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. You know, chemistry is very, very important, and I think ours was unparalleled. So I, I think thought, so. rather than search through qualified comedians, I'd bring members of my own family on the show. You can see which one you like. At the end of this week, you will pick one of these to be your co-host. This no. is my mother. Uh, I guess she's a lot better than Carrot Top. She's better looking, and I'm sure much more talented than Carrot Top. So uh, what, is your, what is your name, uh, Jimmy's mother? I'm Joan Kimmel. Well, Ooh. welcome to the show, Joan. I didn't even know she had a first name. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 would you like me to call her mom or Joan or Mrs. Kimmel, Jimmy? Uh, I don't, you, what, what would you like to be called, mom? I call her mom. Sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> sweet, sweetheart. No, I'll call you Joan. Joan's I'll call you Joan. Fine, yeah. I'll call you Joan. Now, welcome to the show, Joan. Let's turn to you two, you and your son, yes. to meet today's contestants. Let me show you how this is done. Okay. Mom, uh, first a contestant today. You can applaud if you like. Go ahead. Yeah. It's Ron Mala. Ron is from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. That's where we uh, live. Uh, he's a table game supervisor at the Bellagio Hotel. Yes. Mm. What's that mean? You're in charge of the ping pong table? No. <laughs> no. See, that's how it's done, Mom. <laughs> yeah. No? No. Nope. Blackjack and roulette. Mostly. So do you have a lot of people cheating and trying to rob you there? Uh, not much robbery, a uh, few cheats. Uh, we try and chase them out when we can. Ron also loves wine and dogs. Oh. So you like to get drunk and have your leg hump, right, Ron? <laughs> yes. Uh, wait, wait, what you kind do? of dogs do you have? I've got a golden retriever. That's all? Just one? Right now, yes. Well, one man, one dog. There you That's go. Fair. Now, who's our next contestant? Well, our next contestant is Miss Shanae Godinez. Yes, that's correct. And she's a reinsurance underwriter, born in Seoul, South Korea. Yes. South Korea, have you ever eaten a golden retriever? No. <laughs> That's the kind of thing. Is that what I have to say to her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, but no, ask her about what, her job. What is, what is a reinsurance underwriter? I... We insure insurance companies. Sometimes they don't always have the money to do what they'd like to do, so uh, we come in and support them. Oh. And in, they don't in always short. have the money to do the, what they're supposed to do? That's very unsettling. Oh, well. But that should only be in case of a very, very large disaster that they would need the money, correct? It's sometimes that, or it depends on how they want to structure their finances. It might be, um, yes. <laughs> I knew it was going to get a Sorry, score. Sinead. You That's know, sorry. if my mother wasn't here, I'd be saying all kinds of dirty stuff to you right now. Um, who's our third contestant, Mom? This young man is Mr. Grant Earl. <laughs> And uh, what he's does he a, do for a living? He's a, a web developer. <laughs> right. A spider, I guess. No. Um, <laughs> he's a member of the U.S. national rowing team. Whoa, and he looks welcome. very strong. Oh. Looks very and strong. also, Grant can drink a gallon of milk in 19 minutes and 40 seconds. That's funny, because I could eat a bag of Oreos in, like, under 10 minutes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that impressive, Grant, really. Yeah, 20 minutes that, to eat a gallon of milk. That doesn't seem that great. <laughs> well... Uh, you have to take into account that everyone else has regurgitated their milk, but I managed to keep it down. I see. That is important. So. Grant's not going to do... See, Mom, here's the thing. Grant's not going to do... He's way too handsome to be smart. <laughs> uh, well, wait a second. Good looking, I have a, good, I have a good, good... I have a good... Yeah, Ron will take all the money. I guarantee you. <laughs> Contestants, good luck. You're going to need it. Everyone, please turn your attention to our game board as Jimmy tells... Oh, and Joan, yeah. tell us our first five topics. All right, do it, Mom. Our first category is... Okay, when the composer tried to get fresh with his students, she said, take your hands back. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see falling Russian rock formations, you have to go to the Kremlin. <laughs> 
the physicist likes to vacation at the space timeshare condominium. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Glenma, what bulging eyes you have, exclaimed Little Red Thyroiding Hood. Very good. <laughs> I like this stuff. You may like that portly detective, but to me, he's just a big fat dick. Yeah. We, we not only get an idea of uh, the, where the genius comes from, but where the... Where the sang flaw delivering kind of off color lines comes from. In the first round, question worth anywhere from fifty to one hundred fifty dollars of my money. We'll start with you, casino expert Ron. Please pick a topic. You may like that portly detective, but to me, he's just a big fat dick. One hundred fifty dollar question: What portly reclusive Rex Stout detective was played by William Conrad in a 1981 TV series? Ron. Nero Wolf. Nero Wolf. It is very good. Fifty dollar. In CSI, the TV series about a team of forensic experts, the letters CSI stand for what three words? Crime Scene Investigation. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> New category, please, Joan. Okay. I knew you betrayed me, Frito. I'm not your brother anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Ron, you get to pick. But, Glamma, <laughs> what bulging eyes you have, explained Little Red Thyroiding Hood. $150 question. Which former First Lady is afflicted with a thyroid disorder known as Graves' disease? Ron. Nancy Reagan? No. Grant. Barbara Bush. Barbara Bush it is. Now what do you say? I knew he was smart. Anyone who didn't like to milk that much has to be smart. $50 follow-up. What is the name for the surgical removal of the entire thyroid gland? Thyroidectomy? Yes, exactly. Right. Now, before I lose any more cash, let me take a break. We'll come back to see how much more money these monsters from outer space can take away from me right after this. more of who the hell is my new co-host week on We and Ben Stein's Money. Right now, we have a two-way tie for the lead between Ron and Grant for my money. Uh, Jimmy and Mom, what's our new category? Our next category, Ben, is the Neurotic Flag's favorite book was Fear of Flying. Uh, <laughs> all right. Grant, you have the last correct answer, so you get to pick uh, the new category. Okay. I know you betrayed me, Frito. <laughs> I'm not your brother anymore. <laughs> $50 question. Outraged by Hispanic groups, forced Frito Lay to retire. What corn chip mascot in 1970? Grant. Frito Bandito. Yes, and oh. wasn't that a great character? $50 follow up. What brand of potato chips uses Peppy the Owl as its trademark? Wise. Wise again. Very good. Wow. Jimmy. Frito, he actually does our lawn now. <laughs> All right, what's your next category? Okay. When I told her my bag was made of animal hide, the PETA member worked herself into a leather. All right, Grant, you get to choose. The Neurotic Flag's favorite book was Fear of Flying. $100 query, Rhode Island State Flag features a banner reading Hope and a circle of yellow stars surrounding what nautical item? Grant. Anchor. Anchor, indeed. Very good. <laughs> Jimmy, do you have any other predictions? <laughs> Apparently, you got Grant not only physically superior to Ron, but mentally as well. $50. <laughs> we'll see how it all shakes $50 out. $50 follow-up. Sharing its name with the color of the visible spectrum, what is the Rhode Island state flower? Ron? Chrysanthemum. You think the chrysanthemum is a color in the very visible spectrum? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> It is violet. Violet. Oh, oh, there you go. Now, that's an easy question. How could you miss that? <laughs> Mom wants a new category. New category. The supernatural movie quickly became occult classic. <laughs> In less than two minutes left in the round, Grant, you get to pick again. Okay. When the composer tried to get fresh with his student, she said, take your hand, you back. $150 question. What Johann Sebastian Bach series of 30 variations was named for one of his pupils? <laughs> The Goldberg Variations, the Goldberg oh, Variations. That's how my mother and father conceived me, using one of the Goldberg Variations. 
$50 toss-up, Johann Sebastian Bach is commonly considered the greatest composer of which musical era? Ron. Baroque? Baroque it is. Very good. <laughs> Mom, our new category is? Wow. Dad wouldn't pull up to a rest stop, so I had to coupe in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, you get the pick. That supernatural movie quickly became a cult classic. $50 question, who starred as a university research scientist in the 2000 supernatural thriller, What Lies Beneath? Shanae. Harrison Ford? Yes, and Harrison Ford is. Oh, wow. You got that right, Shanae, but that's the end of the first round. Grant, you've got $400 of Ben's money. You are wrong. Well, you have to say goodbye to Sinead. Lovely Sinead. Sorry to see you go. Thank you. We shall miss you, Sinead. You're a lovely young woman. And keep your eye on Mom here. Her horizons are pretty much unlimited, I'd say, at this point. You're You've only not managed calling to my mom a lesbian, yeah. are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're taking your $50 away from you, and we're going to just uh, reinsure it back onto the board. I don't know how we would do that. I think this would be the right gesture for reinsuring it back onto the board. <laughs> I'll get down the trench and defend my money by actually becoming a common contestant. Stay tuned, you might learn something. This round begins. Grant has four hundred dollars to buy money. Ron has two fifty, and I have forty-three fifty remaining of my original five thousand dollars stake, which I'll once again defend by becoming a common contestant. Very good, very good. From this point forward, Ben has no advanced knowledge of any of the questions to be asked. Isn't that right, Ben? Yes, it is. And he would not lie in front of my mother, my no, relatives. Certainly not, Mom. Are auditioning not. for the co-host wow. job Across this week. Wow, my heart and hope Good luck, die. Mom. Thank you very much. We'd like to have you out of the house. Whoever has the highest score at the end of this round, whether it's Ron or Grant goes on to play against Ben, one-on-one -on -one for $5,000. Let's have a look at our topics. They are, she wasn't much in the brains department, but she had a lobotomy that wouldn't quit. <laughs> Depressed poets other than I won't be around for Longfellow. I tried to watch Starsky and Hutch with Paul Michael Glacier, but all I got was snow. <laughs> Every inductee into the Cowboy Hall of Fame gets listed in Yahoo's Who? <laughs> I'll read the last one. You bought me pottery for our anniversary? Why don't you ceramic up your ass? Uh, <laughs> My gosh, Jimmy, you made your mother read that dirty <laughs> category? Uh, she's not like worse. <laughs> what did you say? She used to beat us. Oh, uh, really? He deserved it. Yeah, well, regardless, the beatings continue. Yeah. Right, depressed poets, other than I won't be around for long, Philip. All right, for $400, this is how it works, Mom. Okay. Printed in 1645, what English poet wrote the companion poem to La Allegro, Il Penseroso, an invocation to the goddess Melancholy? Ron? Tennyson? No. Ben? Spencer? No. <laughs> It's Milton. Oh, of course, oh, Milton. Milton Berle. Of course, no. Milton. John Milton was the guy. Mom, what's the next category? After I refuse to pay my mm -hmm. taxes, they assign me to the H&R cell block. <laughs> ben, I'll try. Pay. After I refuse to pay my taxes, they assign me to the H&R cell block. All right, Mom, give it a try for $300. Taxpayer advocate Grover Norquist is the president of what? right-wing organization known by the abbreviation ATR. Ben? Americans for Tax Relief. No, that's not right. Ron? American Taxpayer Relief? No, no. Grant? Americans for Tax Relief. That's that very close. No, it's Americans for Tax Reform. Oh! Uh, our next category is... Mom? Drug-induced Beatles song besides <laughs> Hey Lude. <laughs> Ben, I'll since try. Everyone's stupid. You get to pick again. Drug and just Beatles songs besides Hey Lou. All right, Mom. Three hundred dollar question. Immortalized in a psychedelic Beatles song, Liverpool Strawberry Fields was what type of charitable institution? Ben. Orphanage. That's right, Ben. Yes. Very. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little category. It is.
It's, it's easy to believe that actress is a man if you don't look at Glenn too close. I'll try. It's easy to believe that actress is a man if you don't look at Glenn too close. All right. Okay, that's three hundred dollars okay. then. In the Peter Weir film, The Year of Living Dangerously, what diminutive actress won an Academy Award for playing a man? Gray. Grant? Leah Perlman? No. <laughs> Ron? Linda Hunt. Linda Hunt is it. right, yeah. <laughs> New category. That description of a shark really hit the hammerhead on the head. And Grant, you get to choose. I tried to watch Starsky and Hutch with Paul Michael Glacier, but all I got was snow. All right. Okay. For $300. What did geologists call the spectacular process in which chunks of glaciers break off to form icebergs? Ron? Calving. That's right, Ron. Calving. Whoa. That sound wow. means what, Mom? That sound means the round is over. No, that sound means Ben's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations, Ron, as predicted, wins. Yeah. Grant, we got to say goodbye to you. Sorry. Wow, well, I have to say, he called it. Yeah, we'll look him. at him. <laughs> oh, he looks very smart to me. They both look very smart. Grant, we have enjoyed very much having you on our show. Thank you so much for playing our game. We'll take your $400, and what shall we do? We'll row it back on the board. Stroke! Stroke! And then we'll also splash it. Splash, splash. On the board. And we come back to this terrifying moment of my death. The seventh day isolation is to do battle with a very smart Ron for all $5,000 of my cash. Stay tuned. We won't be using any brain stunt doubles. So far, you've taken, let's see, $850 away from you, and that is yours to keep no matter what happens. Although, of course, unlike in Vegas, the IRS is notified here without question. <laughs> now you have a chance to walk out of here with all $5,000 of my gift. It's me, me, Jimmy, and Mom, and what we call the best of 10 tests of knowledge. Could you explain to the group, please, Jimmy and Mom? Yeah. How am I doing so far? Then? You're doing incredibly well. On a scale are. of 1 to 10, how is she doing? At least 10. All right. I'm going to ask Ben and Ron the same 10 questions. Ron, if you answer more than Ben, can you get us $5,000? Simple enough, right? Yes. Want to go first or second? I hope you put some pressure on Ben. I'll go first. All right. Very good good go. luck to you. Very good. Step in that room. I'm going to handle this. Please do. Ben will freak out if you screw it up. You can come stand next to me if okay. you like and tell me what a good job I did afterwards. All right. Ron, you have uh, 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Are you ready? Yes. Let's begin. What San Diego theme park boasts an attraction called the Shamu Adventure? SeaWorld. Yes. In 1294, Celestine V became the last person to abdicate what title? Holy Roman Emperor. No. The flag of what mountainous U.S. state features a large letter C? Colorado. Yes, derived from the Greek for to reflect. What philosophical term loosely refers to any questioning position? Pass. To the nearest thousand miles, what is the circumference of the Earth at the equator? 52,000. No, Herman Hesse's novel Siddhartha is predominantly set in what country? India. Yes, what is the name of Los Angeles's NHL team? Mighty Ducks. No, in the 1950s, two Puerto Rican nationalists attempted to assassinate what U.S. president? Hoover. No, what cheese takes its name from the capital of Italy? Romano. Yes, what Bob Fosse Broadway musical features murderous <laughs> chorus girl? Oh, Roxy Hart, we didn't get to that. You got four right. Um, Harry Truman, the L.A. Kings. Twenty-five thousand miles. Skepticism was the term we're looking for, and the Pope was the title we're looking for. Let's see how Ben can do it. Ben can be four. Uh, ben, Ben, uh, yes. You gotta uh, beat four. These must be Did very hard. Did he get hard, four though. right? Yes. Wait a second. Let me have a sip of my magical mystery fluid. That's right. If you'd give him a sip, maybe he would have got five. <laughs> All right. Maybe two. All right, Ben. Wait a second. I have to have a sip of my brain of fluid. All right. Maybe we can give you an anima, too, while you're in there. <laughs> if you want. All right. Ten questions. You have to beat four. You ready? I shall do my best. Let's begin. What San Diego theme park boasts an attraction called the Shamu Adventure? Uh... Ocean Park. No, in 1294, Celestine V became the last person to abdicate what title? 
Uh, Roman Emperor. No, the flag of what mountainous U.S. state features a large letter C? Colorado. Yes, derived from the Greek for to reflect. What philosophical term loosely refers to any questioning position? Um, thinking. No, to the nearest thousand miles, what is the circumference of the Earth at the equator? Uh, 26,000. No, Herman Hesse's novel Siddhartha is predominantly set in what country? Who? Uh, Israel. No, what is the name of Los Angeles's NHL team? Uh, the, uh, I don't know, the Devils. No, in the 1950s, two Puerto Rican nationalists attempted to assassinate what U.S. president? Truman. Yes, what cheese takes its name from the capital of Italy? Uh, Roman cheese. More specific. Roma cheese. No, what Bob, Bob Fosse Broadway musical features murderous chorus girl Roxy Hart in Chicago? Oh, wow, Chicago. <laughs> You, you humiliated me, you humbled me, I hate you, but unfortunately the rules of the game call for me to give you $5,000. It's a very bad way to begin the season. Look, look at all this money. I blame my mother for this. I do too. You made me kind of nervous, John. I don't know. I'm, I'm humbled. I, no, I don't hate you, but I hate you. But take the money and get out of here. We're out of time till next time when I give three more people a chance to win Ben, ben Stein's money. money. Provided by Capitol Records, huge collection of music CDs, power performances from such great artists as Dexter Freebish and Dave Cause, music past and present for your listening pleasure from Capitol Records. You're watching Comedy Central. Stay tuned as comedians whip something up on the spot in Whose Line Is It Anyway? Coming up next.